Alright, so I am now stuck in a hut in a town which is possessed by bandits and they may possibly know I'm here after I shot one of their buddies in the face. Eh. Well, let's go sort this shit out. Okay. Find myself some kind of cover around here. Oh, I see one up there, but he shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hello? Ah. Oh, he spotted me. Eat this. Prepare yourself for the power of that. Got him. There's got to be more than two. Two bandits couldn't have taken over the entire town. Well, two and his cheerful friend up there. Wow. I guess... yeah. The NCR were running scared by just two bandits. That's kind of embarrassing. I see any more on the coaster? Who's this chap? Hmm, fellow courier. Let me see... Blue package, north entrance to a Vegas strip by way of Freeside... Payment to Johnson Nash... Oversized dice, composed of a fuzzy material... Yeah, exactly the same as mine, only... His package was just as useless. Better clear out the coaster of any remaining... Banditos. Uh, looks pretty. Uh, hey. I see you. Oops. 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 Ah. Uh, I think I need to get a bit closer. Oh! Ha 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 What do you know, I did get him after all. <laughs> that looked kind of fun if it wasn't a fact you have to be dead to do it. Another one around here. Or was that just the same guy? No, it was the same guy. Or at least I think it was. Oh, Jesus, no, there's his buddy. Ah, oh, he got me pretty good. Need a stim pack, need a stim pack. Find cover in one of these beams. Oh, 
this isn't working. Time to get up close and personal. Okay. So yeah, that brings the grand total up to four bandits. An entire town brought to its knees by four frigging bandits. Hardly an army. Oh well. Aha! Uh -huh. Mojave Express. This looks like the place we were looking for. Well, would explain dead courier outside of it. Now, what can we see? What the heck are you? Some kind of robot. There's some kind of advanced model. Let's examine the electronics. able to repair this. I'm gonna need some spare parts. Three pieces of scrap metal. Watch there's two right there. And another drop box, at least I can ship things now. Magazine on repairs. Okay, so if I flick through a science magazine, let's see if his bypass should help. Okay. That was a proper repair magazine. Somewhere. I have too many copies of Lad's Life. What, do I not actually have a... Yeah, there we go. Let's fix him up. Try to fix. Hey, it worked! Companion protocol begin. Oh wow. What can you do? You're just gonna follow me around now? Well what do you know? I have my own little floating death bot called Eddie. Who's a good boy? Check out the casino. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Yeah, it's hardly inviting. Who the hell are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily. For what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Oh, you have a guy I'm looking for. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Yeah, kind of lost a package due to a bullet in the face. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Sure do. Have a look at this. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was Strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. 
First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Wait, cowboy robot? You mean one like over there in the corner? Nope, different fella, bigger. Had himself a face on a screen, and he talked more like you or me. That's Vic. Some asshole in a checkered suit and some fuck stole my package. Did you see them? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Yep, them's the one who shot me. Got any more info? Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Okay. Fine, Deputy Beagle. Shouldn't be too hard. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Sure, I'll tell Any more information? A beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. All right, so fine, Beagle. Anything I can do to help around here? Hardly looks like a fun situation to be in. Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law, but he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. <sighs> Always something new. I have some questions about Well, <sighs> I'll answer what I can. No need to sound too enthusiastic. What is this place? That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Eh, sounds like a fun position. I got more questions. Ask away. What exactly happened here? Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. He started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First there was just a few thugs rolling through town, but then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something, and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Yeah. The lovely guys. I so, Deputy Beagle's been kidnapped. Well, you can call Beagle a deputy so long as you don't harbor too high an opinion of the word. Boy was about as useful as tits on a rad scorpion. Only qualification he ever had was to be brother to the wife of the sheriff. Still, I suppose he don't deserve what's befell him. We would have considered paying the ransom if we'd had caps to spare. Ah, nepotism. Always the best way to run town. Got some questions about my little floating companion. That beat up old pile of bolts? What do you want to know? Where did it come from? The courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I'd hoped to get it up and running for some courier work, but never could get it running. Any idea what I can do with it? Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. Eh, he's kind of cool. I, like I guess I don't have anywhere bet. Why do you keep on calling them gangsters? I thought they were powder gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Eh, yeah, good to know you're accurate. Got anything to sell? Sure, have a look. Eh, uh, awful of this useless NCR money. These point .22 rounds I don't need. Eh, 
Let me see. Healing powder kind of sucks. Oh, take these extra copies of all that's life. Pre-war money. Let's rebound. What else you got? Meh. Some weapons mods for nothing I have. Oh, can upgrade my plasma pestle, but it'll bankrupt me. Yep, none of this looks at all useful. Oh well. Thanks, John. Give me a shout if you need anything else. See ya. All right, Eddie. Let's go deal with those gangers. I think I spotted a back way into here before. Yep. There it is. So I just need to get on this bit. Easier said than done. Ah, here we go. Yep. Ooh, please don't collapse. This thing doesn't feel very sturdy. I'll never expect an attack from Varia. Better wet my whistle beforehand. Hey, he plays music. Ah. Oh. Holy shit. What was that? He's a flying death machine. Good job, Eddie. Anybody there? Oh, he's picked up somebody else. Yeah, this way's a bust. Ah, uh, just getting jumpy, I guess. Who's there? Anybody? Hello? Hmm. Oh, Jesus! Shoot him, Eddie, shoot him! Repairing you was the best thing I've ever done. I have my own floating death machine. Alright, now let's raid this place for anything of value. Cigarettes, empty whiskey bottles. Oof, collapsed roof and corpse. Money, dynamite, a key of some description. More money. Ah, stim pack. Love that. At least this 9mm pistol of mine is now in pretty good shape. Hmm. You must have a little inbuilt radar. Hello? Hello? Oh. Ah. 
Ouch. Alright, Eddie, come on, let's uh, finish checking this floor before we clear out the rest. Empty suitcases. Getting a lot of old world money. Eh, it still has value. Even if it's only used as kindling. Ah, hollow. Oof. Somebody's been there a while. What's this? Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash and small and mark bills to Bison's Eve on Tuesday. Christ, that must be from before the war. On the right side, I'll explain why there's so much money around here. And another laser pistol. And more cells. Room. Oof. I really hope that wasn't Mrs. Peterson. Jet. Psycho. Oh god. Whoop. Medex. More psycho and a switchblade. And bloodstains. Has nobody cleaned these rooms in 200 years? Kind of icky. Oh, wrong way. Go up to the top floor. Should be able to get up there through this bit of collapsed roof. Ah, uh, no suitcase full of money, but I do see a medical cabinet. Purified water, Radex, Jet, Rebounds, Bobby Pins, Stim Packs, everything a growing boy needs. Well, I guess it's the only way to get my hand on those stars. Ugh. Don't even like sarsaparilla. Ugh, more dynamite in 9mm. Must have just kicked something. Oh, hey Eddie. There would appear to be nothing of any worth in here. Caps. Let's see if I carefully shimmy my way around here. Pre war money. Ugh, most of this place has collapsed in on itself. Old cola. No way I'm drinking that. Alright. This must be the way down. Come on, Dick. We have some powder gangers to deal with. Oh, shit. There goes another one. Hardly the quietest of entrances. What's 
through. Oh crap. Um, hi guys. Eddie. Bit of help here for these. Oh yeah. There must be Beagle in there. We make quite a team. Good work, Eddie. Give me a hug. Ah, Who's a good little robot? Oh well, we need to go rescue Beagle. <laughs>